Hey everybody, quick little show me video. I did this pickup uh, quite a while back, but it's a mini Curtis TV. I got it for five bucks at Goodwill. And it works. I don't have a source for it because it takes a cable I don't have. And the antenna, well, it doesn't pick anything up because, no, this is not digital. <laughs> this is old school analog. And, well, we now have digital television stations all over the place. I did find a power supply for it. So I finally turned it on. And, okay, let me see it. Back here, the ports are external antenna, 12 volt. That's this one. And this one is happens to be tip positive. So it goes there. Video in. But I don't know what cable it takes. Um, I think it might be... 3.5 to uh, RCA, but I don't have one like that. And I don't know positive, negative, or anything about it. But it this does work. I saw it, I was like, you know what? I've always wanted one of these dumb little TVs. Because they were cool when they came out. And, um, yeah, I took a chance. And I actually found the power supply at the Goodwill that I bought the TV at. It was from, it's a Netgear power supply, standard router, right? And, well, it works. Well, the radio works. Okay, 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 okay. Well, I can tell you the radio works. I don't want to get pinged for copyright, but you can hear the radio. Let me see if I can detune it. Just get some static. Yeah. Static. I don't want to play any songs on here because <laughs> I don't have a song to play on it <laughs> that's mine but yeah it's got AM FM and the black I'll turn the TV on let's see I mean it'll warrant it'll get to a fuzzy screen see that's pretty cool I would love to use this as a display I want to find the cable for it I want to find the cable for this thing because it uses a dial to turn channels. I remember these back in the day, but I never had one. And this is a neat little pickup. I'm going to go ahead and just turn it off, right? And I've got another one. This was a rescue, and I had to do some intense cleaning to it. I do not have a wire to power it. And this is a more, this is one of these. Uh, it seems to be in good shape, but I had to clean it so much. I haven't taken it apart yet because these tubes, you move something inside, you could shock yourself to death. And I don't want to risk that. And it's just not worth doing because it's, it's cool, but... Mm, and I don't have the power for it. Okay. Headphone jack over here. Oh, that one other one. The other one has a headphone jack too. So you can line out to speakers. This also has 12 volt, but it's tip negative. The other one's tip positive. So don't have that one. And it has an AC jack. And I can't find one of those either because it's weird Sony stuff that's smaller than the one for my stereo. My stereo takes this. But it's it would take so much trimming to get it to fit it. I just don't care. <laughs> and yeah, I see that's some stuff I need to clean. And you get uh, contrast, bright vertical hole, external antenna. And over here you got these things, right? It uses the same stuff as the other one. Okay. Uh, except tone. VHF, UHF, picture, I don't know what that means. Picture on, off, TV, AM, FM, function, okay. Volume and tuning. And there's no opening top or anything like that. It looks like there should be, but that's the speaker. See, speaker, mega. <laughs> Power button antenna is still there. That's cool. The other one has the antenna, but it's weird. It doesn't swivel. I don't, this one gets, just goes straight up too. So yeah, there's that one. 
but cannot test. I'm sure it works, but because I know where it came from. But today is all about the cheapy, and Curtis was not a cheap brand back in the day. Curtis, I believe, is the same as Curtis Mathis, just new license, I guess, or new business division. This was a little bit dusty when I got it, but not bad. It looked like it had been taken care of. It takes these batteries, D cells, but I don't have the cover. And, well, if I can plug it in, I'll plug it in, you know. That's fine. It's supposed to be portable, but can you imagine? Car now, this thing is not light, okay? It's not super heavy, but it's not light. And plus, all those batteries, forget about it. Okay, I know it's been a while. Haven't made a video. Wanted to show it off. I haven't done any real interesting pickups lately. Um, so, I wanted to get a video out there. So, that's all. That's all. Just saying hi. And an interesting part of my little tech collection that I might actually use if I can find a cable to pipe a picture into it. And then I can give it speakers and have a little display, make a robot out of it. I don't know, make a droid. Because that's what I like to do. All right, thanks. Out of here. Bye-bye.